Hi, and welcome to Autodesk Flow Studio. Today we'll walk you through how to use the live action projects. Live action projects let you seamlessly integrate CG characters into real world footage, bring in your scenes to life with AI powered motion capture. To get started, click the create new project. Flow Studio offers two versions of live action, easy and advanced. Let's begin with the live action easy. In the editor, upload your video by dragging it into the panel on the left. If your footage includes multiple shots, make sure it is fully stitched together before uploading. Once loaded, drag it into the workspace. Click Next in the top navigation to begin scanning for actors. Find a frame where your actor is clearly visible and then click Scan Frame for Actors. Now choose a character from the library and drag and drop your preferred character into the frame. If your video includes multiple actors, repeat the process. Scan the frame and assign a character to each one. For this example, we'll go with Sandy. Click Next to open the export settings. Here, you can choose your desired render resolution and file format. You can also select additional export elements like AI motion capture, camera tracking, clean plates, and more. If you plan to refine your project in a 3D tool, you can export entire Maya, Blender, or Unreal Engine scenes. Once you've selected all your export options, click Start Processing. Now the steps for Live Action Advance are similar. Click to create a new Live Action Advance project, import your footage, scan for actors, and assign characters. Now the key difference is that the Advanced version gives you more control, such as animating retargeting and fine-tuning the character's performance. The scale option allows the platform to better match the character's height with the actor's height. Feet IK moves the character's feet to more closely match the position of the actor's feet. The wrist IK option pretty much matches the feet IK option, but is connected to the wrist of the characters. Pelvis offset option is used to alter the translation of the character to better match the location we desire. Shot type setting relates to the type of shots in the cinematography. It is related to how the actor is captured in the shot. Motion type setting relates to the relative movement between the actors in the source video and the camera. The best option to use first is always the auto option. Estimated face option allows you to copy facial performances of the actor onto your CG character. However, if the character doesn't have blend shapes for facial performance, this option will be grayed out. Estimate Hands option tracks the hands performance of the actor in the source video. Feet lowering option tries to better match the lowest point of the actor for improved perceived ground contact. And Feet contact settings tries to figure out when the foot is touching the ground in the source video. If the user knows the focal length of the source video, it can be matched and entered into this box right here. There is also a keep audio option and a letterbox option. Once you've configured your settings, click next to finalize your render resolution, format, and export elements. To track the project's process, go to my projects tab and you'll see all active projects listed under in progress. When your project is finished processing, click on it to preview the final video. You can download any export elements you selected. Just click to download. That's it. We can't wait to see how you use the live action project type. Have fun creating and thanks for watching.